Georgia O'Keeffe greatly influenced me because at that period of time, a woman artist was not really considered serious. And you could not ignore her. She was very special and thoroughly. Uh, I thought, well, if she can, I will. The El Paso Museum of Fine Art, that's when I took myself seriously, um, I think. What my major was, was Oriental art. The fine art of the ancient Japanese. They had a way of painting silence and thoughtfulness and rarely did they have people unless it was a little scholar sitting off in the distance and I admired the atmosphere that they were able to capture in paint and that was a tremendous and to this day I think if you look at my work it has a sort of silence to it and it's comforting. For that reason, I think most of my work has been going to hospitals in the last few years because people have found it comforting to be around. And it kind of jogs their imagination that, oh, I've been in a place like that maybe, or that's good because I like to have people see what I do. The other one, that had me excited is it's, my work has been added to several major collections. And one of them is BNSF. They have, over time, purchased six of my paintings. And I don't know where they are, I would like to know. <laughs> and um, the various hospitals that are now, uh, also a bunch of banks sort of liked me for a while. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Before we moved to this place in Montana, which we have beautiful, beautiful country and a lot of distance, uh, we ranched in West Texas. And there were places where I could get off and hear the water running in the creek and just daydream. And I, lo I guess that's where I got interested in trying to make silence on canvas. That's not so easy. And that's why you won't see people in my paintings. I want you to be there. There's one painting in it, it, that I'm going to show you in a little while. Sitting in a place and listening to water fall in a waterfall will get your imagination going because it's a little bit of the sound that Mother Nature's making for you to listen to. Now you can interpret that at, as music, which I do, or just comforting sound. Sometimes the imagination takes a little bit of sound. To me, a flash of color will start my imagination. Why, what, how can I use that? Um, they're triggers that will start it, but it doesn't really work unless you follow through. I would like to be teaching more, especially now with the children. And I love the, the little people because they will say anything. Um, and I'm very concerned about the digital age destroying their imagination. I think that is something we're going to have to be very careful of. The imagination is coming from the television or um, the Xbox or whatever. They're not thinking up the ideas. They're watching somebody else's ideas. And I want them to have the opportunity to do their own creative little kernel every one of them was born with. Uh, as a professional, my crowning achievement is people coming back to me later and say, I just love your work. It makes me feel good. It makes me relax. It makes me daydream about places that I went. 
that were a lot like that. And it's very comforting. And that's a triumph. That means I've succeeded. Artists are very isolating. And I just decided I was going to be a real estate agent. That's when I found out I was too old to be an architect, which is really what I wanted. And real estate was the next closest thing. So I, I got my real estate license and then went on and got my broker's license and practiced for almost eight years. I was very involved with the Episcopal Church. Um, I took four years of a course called uh, Education for Ministry. I learned a lot from everyone, especially the head priest who was a potter and attracted many artists to his congregation, which attracted me also. It was wonderful to go to a church that a lot of other artists who are spiritual, and I feel that I am spiritual, um, went. And I, it was a learning experience I'll never forget. My husband I've been married to for 56 years. Um, he is patient. <laughs> Yes, be with me uh, and my children. My daughter uh, got her master's all by herself. She did that. My son got her his doctorate from the University of Wisconsin, went to Princeton first, and got his master's from Harvard. Uh, I, I'm glad he's through. We're running out of space on the card. Um, I am so proud they are good wonderful people. They knew that I was going to have this today and they have been calling me and they are artistic people themselves. My daughter majored in photography at SMU. My son was um, a biochemical engineer. He was creating skin, real skin in his laboratory. That's creative, <laughs> most definitely. And he flew from Boston to be with me to experience the eclipse last week. We were both so excited and taking pictures. That's the kind of support my kids give me. Why paint? Because it's who I am. There are people who play golf every day of their life because they, you can't imagine not doing it. And like I knew when somebody told me I was good at it, good at painting, when I was in second and third grade, I thought, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> I know I'm good at that. And then I, from that point on, it's, it's, it's hard to describe that it is literally a part of you. That's where my spirit is, I think. Um, oh my goodness, that's a good one. Contentment, I think. That I am doing what I'm meant to do and I love doing it. I think that sums it up. Also, um, I'm still hale and hearty and I have, my mother was 99 and I watch out world, I'm still here.